What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Marshall from Paw Patrol. Let's begin today's lesson all the way at the top of our page with the bottom edge of the hat brim. We're gonna start all the way over on the left side. Let's draw a curve that comes down the middle, round this out, and then bend that up towards the right. Let's flatten off the ends with a straight angle line going up toward the top. Now you wanna draw that same curve along the top of the hat brim. So I'll start on the left, going all the way across, and we'll bend that up. From the top of the hat brim, let's step in and draw a half circle. So we'll start on the left. We go up towards the top, round this out, and then bring that down towards the right. Let's add a circle on the right side with a flashlight, going all the way around and then in. And we want to trace that along the inside. Let's continue to add some more detail across the top of the hat. In the center, let's draw two straight lines going up and we'll flatten off the top. Let's add that badge in the center. We we'll start over on the left, then this up and then down. Let's round out the top corners, and down and then out. And then from the ends, we want to bend this down and then in towards the center, towards the bottom. And then we're going to trace the badge along the inside. So we'll start along the top. And work our way down towards the bottom. Let's add the paw symbol inside. Starting from the top, we're going to draw an oval. Move out to the side and draw two more. And then along the bottom, I'm just going to draw a large oval going from left to right. Now we're going to layer that plate in behind. Starting from the top and the center, draw a straight line going across, angles down and then out towards the side. Let's pull this down and in. Come down and out. And it angles back down and in behind the half brim. Now I'm gonna add that bend in behind. Just gonna follow the curve of the half brim going in behind that plate and then up on the right. Now that we complete the hat, let's move down and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna step down, draw that circle going all the way around, and then back up. Let's leave a gap and draw the same size circle on the right. So I'll line up the top down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's pull the pupils towards the inside. So we'll start on the inside edge of the left eye, draw another circle, go all the way around and then in towards the bottom. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So we're going to bring this in and then back out. And I'll draw another small circle in the center of the iris going in behind the highlight for the pupil. Just fill the center of the pupils in black. Let's place the eyebrows in behind the edge of the hat. We're starting on the outside, then it's up and then in underneath, then it's down on the inside, and then do the same thing on the right. Now from the ends, we're just going to taper this so it gets wider as you go up underneath the hat. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now in the center, we're going to draw a curve starting from the left side. We're going to go up in the middle and back down towards the right. On the side, let's bend the nose. Come down and then in towards the center and then back up. Let's add a small highlight oval on the top of the nose. And it'll fill the outside of the nose in black. Now we're gonna move down and draw a curve for the mouth. We come down in the middle and then up. Let's add a bracket on the ends. And then from the tip of the nose, draw a straight line coming down. Now let's go out to the side and layer the ears on top of the head. On the outside of the eyebrow, we're going to step out, then it's down, and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. 
Let's go back up to the top, then here, going out, and then down to the side. Put this down and then in toward the bottom tip of the ears. Now I want to layer the bottom of the head in behind the ears. Let's start on the left side. I'm going to cut this down underneath the mouth, go around and then up towards the right. Now let's add those spots across the ears and the side of the head. We're going to start on the top left. I'm just going to draw these curves going all the way around and then back up. Let's add a small one on the bottom and one on the inside. Let's move over towards the right here. Let's add one spot across the right side of the face and a small one on the left. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw the inside edge of the legs. We're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of the heels. Move over towards the right and draw the same length line. Let's round out the bottom of the paw and come down and then Draw the top of the paw, we're going to go up and then down on the inside, leaving a small gap. And I'll we'll separate the paw with two curves on either side. Let's start with the outside coming in, step in, and draw that again. Now let's go back up underneath the head and draw the side of the body coming down on top of the paws. We're going to start on the left side, then it's out and then down on top of the paw. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's separate the edge of the vest with a curve, going up and then out. Let's go in between the paws and draw a straight line going across, move up and add a curve. Let's add the collar along the top. We're going to start on the left, then it's down and then up and then in the center, add two lines. Now I want to draw that same shape badge underneath for the collar, going up and then down, rounding out the ends, and then down and then in towards the middle. From the bottom of that badge, draw two straight lines coming down. Let's trace that badge along the inside, Let's add a simple flame on the inside. Let's work our way around. And cut. Let's add some spots along the outside of the leg. Starting from the left side, tucking this up against the edge, and a small one across the bottom. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Now let's tuck the hind paws in behind. We're we'll start from the side, then it's out and then up with a short line. Go up and then bend that down towards the side. Let's separate the paws. Start with one curve and a small one on the inside. Now let's draw the top of the hind leg in behind. Start from the top, come around, and then in. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Marshall from Paw Patrol. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.